Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, a lot of you guys wanted to have a quick video about how to operate a walk-behind mower, okay? This is a zero-turn mower. This is a uh, Xmark Turf Tracer. We're just gonna go over the controls for two quick minutes here, all right? Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about really quick before we're done is if you guys are looking to learn how to operate a stander or a zero-turn, I'll leave a little card here and a little video at the end screen by the time this video is done. All right, well, if you guys are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscaping business so you guys can go out there and crush it so if you guys are new here maybe consider subscribing but we do that with reviews how to's daily vlogs and sometimes we do little how to videos like this so I got my man Rob behind the camera really quick so here's what we're gonna do let's just talk about the controls and then before we're done I want to give you guys the biggest t uh, tip or secret with operating a walk behind mower that you should never do because it is a huge safety no-no all right so let's do this really quick Rob if you want to come over here this is an X mark turf tracer it's a 60 inch unit uh, here's the controls up here maybe you guys uh, uh, dropped off your mower maybe you got a little uh, demo or this is a loner it's really simple to operate okay this is the ECS controls sometimes they're inverted and it's the pistol controls where they're flipped down that might be in, on an older model or unit sometimes you have a sort of like a I don't know bike you know handle like on the uh, hustler trim stars right so you're gonna be flexing one you know long uh, handle not the pistol grips but let's just go through the controls really quick here's your dashboard you've got your on on uh, start and stop okay Ignition, you've got your yellow button typically is your PTO. And I know this might sound basic for some of you guys, but some of you guys might be brand new or never ran one of these before. This right here, typically you're going to have your hydrostatic or your gear drive. Now, a hydro means you just punch this lever forward and it's going to open up this uh, hydro uh, grip right here. So Rob, can you come over here? See how we've got this fully expanded. If I shift this down, you're gonna see that it's not gonna to want to expand as much. Okay, so that is the default once I release the parking brake. All right, and then as you guys would imagine, you've got your throttle and then we've got our hour meter, okay? So when you're approaching a walk behind unit, uh, the last thing you're gonna wanna worry about is where's your parking brake, okay? This one, sometimes they're gonna lock up the gears or the hydro, sometimes it's just gonna be this little uh, tire brake. Pretty straightforward, okay? So a couple quick tips when operating a uh, walk behind mower. Uh, we have a wheelie cart or a sulky on this one. There's different styles. This one is a fixed uh, sort of center design where if I turn right, it's gonna flip me off the backside. Some of them articulate where you can kind of uh, jackknife, you know, as you make that turn. Uh, the jungle gyms accessories so far, uh, so on and so forth, okay? So here's, let's just do this really quick. We're gonna jump on. We're gonna get a little bit of throttle. Come on in, Rob. And then we're gonna remove our safety, which is right here, okay? Now the mower's not going, and if I step off or if I let go, it's in the neutral position, it's not going to go anywhere. Now if this hydro gear is forward, it's going to cut the mower because this is our safety. Okay? It's going to stop the mower, right? So let's bring it back to neutral. Sorry about that. We're going to put it into gear. Come over here, Rob. Once you put this into gear, this mower is always going forward, right? This handle wants to expand, and that's gonna put this whole lawnmower into gear. So that's where these safeties on your hand knobs come into play. As soon as you flick those over, you're gonna be putting this mower into gear, so be ready, all right? And you wanna ease that open on the handle. So Rob, come on down, I'll show you really quick. We're at two miles per hour. Flip these open, and you're gonna see it start to expand, okay? Pull the left brake to turn left, pull the right to turn right, if you want to go backwards, come on a little bit closer, Rob. We're going to pull double back. If you want to go in reverse. And the big one, the learning lesson, if you want to do a zero turn, you're going to let one go forward and squeeze the opposite all the way in. Not to neutral, but to reverse. I'll show you that really quick. Did that again by letting one go forward and squeezing one all the way back on the other side. Now the biggest thing that I'm going to leave you guys with really quick, by the way, if you guys appreciate this video, even if it might be some newbie stuff, big thumbs up. We super appreciate the support. The biggest thing I can say is this right here is your lifesaver. This is your safety, okay? If you happen to push forward and whether you're turning or the mower is getting away from you or you're rounding out a house, you have to let this go 
for the mower to cut off the blades and for it to stop working. Now here's the deal, do not or never electrical tape this on here. You might see some guys that have some older units and older models, they electrical tape this close. And so what happens if the mower's in gear or they get flung off it or it gets away from them or they're coming down off the trailer? It's not gonna stop, okay? So never zip tie these, never put electrical tape on those. It's a big no-no for safety. I've seen hundreds of folks do it. Please do not do it. We wanna make sure that you guys are safe. All right, just to recap, we've got our uh, ignition, we've got our PTO, we've got our gear drive. By the way, if it's a gear drive, not a hydro drive, you might have to knock it with your knee. That's like the old school ones. Hopefully you never have to do that. Uh, you got your throttle, your hour meter, pretty straightforward parking brake. I think that's pretty much all you need to know for a walk behind mower. All right, guys, well, that's what I got right here. Again, if you want to see that other video here with us talking about how to operate stand-ons or zero turns, I'll leave a little card here. We'll also leave that link in the description. But guys, quick little video, how-to video on how to operate a walk behind lawnmower. That's what I got for you guys in today's video. Thanks for watching. We look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one.